Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and I want to talk about workspaces on our Ubuntu laptop today. So I'm on an Ubuntu 20.04 laptop, but I've installed the Unity desktop. So Ubuntu 20.04 comes with GNOME by default, so you would have to go through an additional installation process to get the Unity desktop like this. And workspaces work a little different in Unity than they do in GNOME. Now my workspaces are disabled on my computer right here, so if I want to enable those, I actually have to come up here and I'm going to search for my software center. I'll click this icon here, and then I'm going to search for a utility called Unity Tweak Tool, and you'll see that it appears here, and if I click on this, I can install this program. I'll just enter the password for my computer, and then press enter and run the installation process. And then I can launch this tool by clicking this green button here, and it opens this dialog, and from here you can see that there are workspace settings that you can play with. If I click into that, I can turn on the workspace switcher here by toggling this little widget. And you'll see that this icon appears over here in my left hand panel. So if I were to click this, you'll notice that there's the default two by two workspace settings. So there's four different workspaces that you can choose from and you could adjust these right here. So if you just wanted horizontal workspaces, I could bump down the vertical to one and maybe I could increase this to four. And then if I were to click this icon again, you'll see you have four workspaces like that. And you could come back here and you could toggle and click through these if you wanted to. You could also hold down Control and Alt and press the right arrow. And that will toggle you over to additional workspaces. Once you get to the last one, you can't go anymore. And that could go back left like this and go back to my initial screen. And now if you want to bring one of your active dialogues over to a different workspace, for instance, let's just grab this dialog and we'll leave this other one behind. I could select this and I could hold down Control, Shift and Alt and then press the over arrow. And now I'd have this dialog in a separate window. And then, so if I do control alt again without shift, I can left arrow to my other screen or right arrow to the screen here. Another thing you'll notice is the active windows over here. So this dialog here belongs to this little icon. We see a solid bar on the left hand side. These other applications like the OBS studio that I'm using to record this video or the software center that we had open have a little rectangle with a clear fill color to it. So that lets you know that this is in a different workspace as well as Firefox. So if I were to click on any of these icons, for instance, let's click on the software center, it shoots us back over to the other workspace. So notice how this icon has changed now. So our Unity tweak tool now has the rectangle with the border in the clear. So if I click this, it'll shoot me back over to the other workspace. Again, I could just select this window and I could hold Control, Shift, and Alt, and I could press the left arrow to push it back over into the original workspace. So this is handy if you have multiple projects going on. For instance, if you run a small web development business, you might have one workspace dedicated to some of your current client work, but you might have another workspace open for things like accounting or maybe proposals or contract work. You can basically use these to organize your mind so certain tasks can be grouped together. Now this setup for workspaces works really well for me, but the one thing that I don't like is I don't like this icon in the launcher here. So maybe you'll find this handy, so you can click and use this, but I tend to use the shortcuts more than I would use the actual icon. So if you wanted to get rid of this, there's no way to do it through your Unity tweak settings, but you can remove this icon manually through the terminal. So I, over here in Firefox, I have this Ask Ubuntu question up here about removing workspaces. So this is a great answer. It talks about removing it completely, which you can do obviously by toggling this on and off. So I can toggle this off, it removes it from the switcher, but now I can no longer manually go to the different workspaces with my keyboard shortcuts, or I can enable it and then I could switch, but I have to have this in the launcher here. So this goes and shows you how to get rid of it completely. And basically what you wanna do is you want to get your current launcher settings here. So let's copy this command and let's go to our terminal, open this up. And let's expand it and bump this up a little bit. So G settings, git com.canonical.unity.launcher favorites. So this has all our favorites here. And what we can do is basically we can set our favorites and we'll take this whole list and we'll remove one of these options from this. So if we go back to this article, you'll see that we want to remove the Unity Expo icon. So if we look through this list, you can see that we have the Unity Expo icon here. So let's grab this entire list here. Let's copy this, so Control Shift C to copy. And let's do a G settings set instead of get com.canonical.unity.launcher. 
dot capital L launcher space favorites and now do a double quote and do a control shift V to paste your last command in here and just press the left arrow over here and get rid of this expo icon. So I'm gonna get rid of the comma that goes along with it and get rid of the expo icon. And then we'll come over here and we'll finish this with a double quote. And now we'll just press enter. And you can see that that icon just hopped off on the left hand side. However, we can still hold control alt and press the right arrow and we can use the workspace switcher. So I could go back to my Unity Tweak Tools, and you could come and you could just change these to whatever you want. So again, we could bump this up to maybe five workspaces, and then we could switch five over. And one thing that I'm noticing here is if I actually put this to one horizontal and then add multiple vertical, it doesn't let me actually switch to those vertical workspaces. Now, I'm not sure if that's a bug or maybe I just have this configured incorrectly, but if you happen to know the answer to that, just put it down in the comments below and help me out. And just keep in mind, if you ever want to add your icon back to the launcher over here for your workspace, just come back and run the set command again, but add this Unity Expo icon back into it. Okay, that should be all there is to it. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in more Ubuntu content in the future, please subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. All right, take care.